What's up, everybody? Thursday night. Thanks for being here. It's Ben's, Ben's Brick Designs. How's it going? Uh, thanks for being here. Um, don't really have anything to start talking about. Um, no new builds or anything. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. So, <clears throat> hi, Brad's Life. How's it going? First of all, cheers. A little Moscow Mule action. I may pause about an hour in and get another one, so... Uh, yeah, very excited about this. It's one of my favorite drinks. Um, our lug, and you may have seen this online, um, does monthly build challenges. And uh, occasionally we will have extra from Lego support to the lug from the, the LAN or from project support or anything like that. And um, uh, the ambassadors and the people who are in charge of that and in contact usually get boxes of extra bits of sets or whole sets or uh, things like that where they'll part them out and then they'll hand them out as seed parts. Um, what's up, Julian? How's it going? Um, and uh, we also do lug bulk once a year as a lug and it just so happens that this last year we got orange spacemen which were in apparently the uh one of the the books i forget which book it was but so the idea is to build something spaceshipy so we got those in lug bulk we got them individually in pieces and so everybody bought a bunch of them so i ended up building a classic space snow speeder because i thought i have two figures and that would look really good with two figure sitting in it. Um, it turned out well. I'm glad I had this cockpit. Uh, that's a Blacktron cockpit. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of classic space and I just am lucky that I had the Blacktron cockpit. Um, uh, what's up, Kodiak? Um, if you guys haven't checked out, Kodiak's got a new video up on his channel about um, how to do instructions in studio and it's a great primer. Um, how to kind of conceptually understand how to do. That's not how I do instructions, and for those who've watched, who've seen me do it, it's similar. Um, you kind of work backwards when you're setting up the steps, but it's really good and it's funny, um, so go check it out. So anyway, yeah, this was, uh, this was a fun little build. Um, I didn't uh, use like all old gray or anything like that. It's just, just gray and blue, whatever I can find. The front isn't the same uh, single piece. I had to kind of come up with something because I didn't have that piece in gray. Um, I had it in like white and something else, but it turned out good. I liked it. Um, so yeah. So with that said, we're going to keep working on the... Uh, there we go. We're still working on the medieval... Um, blacksmith. I did some building on my own off camera and it's turning out really nice. Um, some of the the architecture stuff with the the like the Tudor housing kind of framing is really nice. Um, there is a step in here or there's a several steps in which so these tiles I take these off to reveal what this is. The steps have, it doesn't indicate, I don't know if you can see this or not, it doesn't indicate which direction these uh, one by one by one and three quarters snot bricks in brown go. It looks like they're all facing one direction, but then when you go to put these tiles on, you realize that they need to be facing in two directions, at least one in one direction and two in the other direction. So yeah, I had to rip the whole corner of the wall off to get that to um, to work. So that was a bit of a bummer. And I went back through the instructions and at no point did it ever say, make sure to rotate them this way or not. It just said, this piece goes here. And I'm like, okay. But yeah, that tree is pretty magical. Um, it's got a lot of builds that I hadn't seen before for trees. Got the apples in there. Um, got a little target there because we've got a little archer. The staggered bricks on the side of the building there. That's really cool. 
Um, the uh, the front awning is really nifty. Let's see if I can kind of show you that a little bit. So, like most sets um, that are modular or building-ish, and this whole thing comes off. I'll show you that in a second. Let's see if I can take this off without ruining it too much. Yeah. So, this floor will come off, and you can see stuff in here. So the stuff in here is all the blacksmith stuff, and I don't want to turn it upside down or turn it too much because um, and you can see like the suits of armor right there and some smelting equipment, and then the the forge and the fireplace, or I guess the, the forge basically in the back there. And the forge is the thing that lights up with the bellows cramp, so you can see that lighting up back there. It's really nifty, so like some of the way the, the stonework looks. But this top bit was really fun, um, and it just looks really neat. I like the way that looks. Um, inside here there's some um, chairs and a table, and uh, there's a fireplace back here with some uh, cutlery and stuff, and pots, and something, you know, the butter churn and whatnot. Um, little things like you're never going to see that keg or that cask under the stairs there. So that's something that's fun to, you know, play along with when you build. The fireplace is really kind of neat looking. It's very fun. So, so far that's what's going on. And it's, you know, just has a couple studs on the inside there for this to set on. doing that right so yeah so we got about five bags to go and hopefully we'll get through tonight yeah it's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be it's a lot more nuanced so very excited to get to keep building on this yeah oh no it looks better than I thought I didn't want it to look good So I priced and parted out a couple of uh, minifig pieces for Admiral Trench from the Clone Wars. <clears throat> There's a big Kid Bricks um, custom figure of him that you can get on eBay for... I kid you not, like $360. It's ridiculous. Maybe even more, maybe maybe less, maybe it's like 150. But I mean, it was ridiculous. Um, it's a ridiculous price, but it's really good looking, right? Like it's got the right cloak and it's got, you know, the big head with the, the pincers and it's got three arms, not just two. Um, and it's got kind of a thing like a big neck back thing going on. It's extra molded. It looks really nice. Um, totally not worth sticking in my little Providence class microfighter. So I pieced out, there's a um, micro or a minifig head that's the spider head. And then I could just get the two arms. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do for a cloak. So I just did like um, the Bespin Guard blue shirt and some blue pants. That's the best I can do. Um, so I'll do a, I'll part that out and see about doing the Providence class. I think it's like Star Dreadnought or something like that. It's his ship from the Clone Wars. Um, so we'll see. I like the design of the ship. I don't really care who goes in it. I could put Grievous in it probably or any battle droid. But I thought having Trench in there would be kind of fun. Um, so this is probably going to be the top layer I don't know what else is gonna happen after this because if we're only doing, if it's only three stories and about five bags, there's gonna be a lot of detail in this would be my guess. So, um, I'm doing fine, Julian, thank you, how are you? Um, I was feeling kinda of under the weather, under the weather the last couple days, but everything's shaping up. Trying to get my second shot so I'm trying to get online and 
Get that scheduled. But the site's kind of confusing. I'm a little stressed about work because we're getting a new phone system and that's never gonna be fun because we're I'm not looking forward to all the help desk tickets that generates. Oh cool. Yeah, I like hearing like my parents got their second shot, or at least my mom did. Um, I haven't heard from, from my dad about it yet. Um, so that's good. Yeah, it's nice to hear that parents and stuff are getting their shots. I think Beth's parents are both got their second shots. We've got friends who've got theirs. So that's cool. So I think after this, I might do another day of um, working on the vulture droid that I've been working on. Um, really haven't got much farther and I've been tooling with it off and on for the past little bit and I just can't wrap my head around the, the head, the shape of it. I can't wrap my head around the head. Um, the rest of it's coming along okay. Um, the front end is okay. I'm still digging the uh, the legs and stuff so I might work on that a bit um, <clears throat> so that's what's going on there I have a couple more sets we could I could build too I got General Grievous a starfighter and the new um, uh, lambda shuttle what's up Scott D bricks coming in on YouTube so yeah we could I could build those. Uh, I will be right back. Hang on real quick. Okay, sorry about that. Probably lost all my viewers. That was my family from down the street. Give me a call, seeing if I wanted to watch some Shit's Creek with them. What's up, Cy? Um, thanks for coming by, dropping by three in the morning there. Um, I appreciate you coming by and saying hello. Yeah, my phone rings and I answer, and um, it's my daughter, and she goes, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm streaming. And she goes, ah! And she hangs up. And I'm like, I, I'm not a major network. I can talk for a couple of minutes. And she's like, oh, we want to know if you wanted to watch Shit's Creek. And I'm like, can we do it at like 9.30? And they're like, no, that's way too late. I'm like, okay. Oh, I don't like this. I was like, and I've got people coming over tomorrow. So Saturday? Yep. That was fun. I miss hanging out with them. It, the COVID thing's been rough because um, they just live down the street um, with their moms. But because 
we don't live together and they're going to they were going to school for a little bit even though the schools are shut down but my daughter was going to college and um the, the moms were going out and doing stuff too to some extent not a whole lot but to some extent we i mean we couldn't pot up with them there was just too much and i didn't want to get them sick in case we were sick so i haven't been able to really like hang out with my kids for too long so i'm really excited to get this second shot um couple, two of them have got their second shot so it's very good very excited for this to be all over so thanks for uh bearing with me on that So yeah, I think the next stream, probably Sunday, will be, uh, we'll do some design work. Um, either pick another micro fighter to work on or do, like, you know, like I said, maybe we'll just work on that. Um, uh, Vulture Droid, UCS Vulture Droid. Yeah, me too. I know that um, things have been dodgy here in Texas. They, I'm sure most people across the world have seen the news because our governor is an idiot. And now our attorney general is going to sue the city and county that were the city going to sue Austin and Travis County because both Austin and Travis County said. Uh, no, don't listen to, you know, whatever, whatever the governor said is, is fine in Austin. You still need to wear a mask if you're a business and everybody went, um, yeah, sure. That's great. But meanwhile, the attorney general was like, um, no, I'm going to sue you. And it's like, really? So many other things you could be doing right now. I don't know. Okay. Do this four times. Oh, hi, Rowan. Miss you too, guys. We just... Okay, so we're... If you're watching, we are on... We're in season six now. Um, and... Um, sorry, distracted. Uh, Patrick and... Okay, if you haven't seen Shit's Creek, you're going to want to pause or mute for a couple minutes. Patrick and David have, they're engaged and they're looking for a place. Um, the Crows movie was off and on again. And I think the last one we watched was Alexa, um, Alexis. No, it's Alexa. Oh, now my Alexa's going, hey, what do you need? Um, is talking to Ted in the Galapagos. No spoilers. Well, you guys have seen it all, haven't you? Thought you all seen it all. Doc. Doc Samson in the house. How you doing? I'm enjoying Shit's Creek so much, and it's stupid how much it's making me like ball like a baby. Cause every episode I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna go so so bad right now. And then it doesn't. Like you're we're predisposed to think like anything that happens in a show is going to be bad for the characters. Like you just feel the uncomfortableness start up and it's going to be the mistaken identity or it's going to be the, you know, if they had just communicated better thing, but then it all works out. It always, always works out. Like we're six seasons in and we still haven't learned that it all works out. Right. Even stuff that isn't like totally solved by the end of the episode, by the next episode, they don't even talk about it. Yeah, uh, snot, snot okay is really nice. Michaela's super cool. Um, I'm hoping that we get to hang out a little bit once this is all done. Um, I actually have to go meet up with her. She's holding on to a set for me that I have to go purchase from her. So she's good people. And it, it's weird because she, she like just started on her Lego journey. So it's very, it's very nice to see somebody like really just get into it.
Yeah, yeah. You know what else I can't wait to do is get a haircut. I mean, look at look at this mop. I think by the time another two weeks rolls around to get the shot, and then two weeks after that to feel safe about going out and not infecting anybody just in case, this thing's just gonna be this giant white boy uh, mop. And plus, I'm getting old, so it's just, it's, I look like I have mange. It's like thinning in spots and it's, oh, it so attractive. I need to go full sigh and just shave it all. I think I have a pretty nice looking head if I shaved it, but I don't think Beth would like it. I think she likes the long hair. But my, you know, I don't have a hair that just does this. It just goes. <clears throat> Did you watch her stream the other night, Sai? The goat beard doesn't help any. Yeah, it's, I'm getting to the point where if, is it, if it gets up to my eyes, I'll keep it trimmed right up to my eyes. But I think right here is a good length. Maybe a little shorter. I might do a little shorter. We'll see. Just need, there we go. That super villain length. <laughs> yes, hello. When my hair was really short, I looked like, I don't know the dude's name, but he's the singer or bassist from a band. And uh, my friend is like, are you going for that look? And I'm like, not really. I don't even know who that is. Beth would know. But she's sleeping. She fell asleep watching her Netflix. Watching her stories. All right, this is cool. So this looks like it's a desk in front of a window and it's got like a quill, an ink well. Yeah, it's gonna have a quill in it in a second. Let me see if I can... Can't really get the focus. There we go. Oh, just had it. It's pretty cool. Terax, the tamer beard. <clears throat> so yeah, between Michaela and Jeff, I might be doing some more of these collaborative streams. I like doing the single ones too still, because that's what I'm used to. Um, but I like hanging out and just I like other people hosting it, and then I can just sit there and be quiet and build and wait for the conversation to roll around to something that I know, like uh, Transformers or Robotech or Ska Music or, I don't know, Star Wars. All right. Oh, wait. Did I put those on backwards? I sure did. Ooh, they got a bay window here. Look at that nonsense. That sticks way out. It's gonna be nice. So, Sai, I wanted to hang out on your guys' stream this afternoon a little longer because I was interested in the the land discussions. I know nothing about kind of what goes on. Like all the drama with, uh, I guess, MNR and all the other people and something's going on with the land. I have like zero idea what's going on. I know that there's a handful of people that are sort of up and coming and want to apply for the, to be in the land. And I feel like they may not know kind of what's going on if there's strife. Um, so I, I was kind of wanting to hang out, but we were like, I was like back to back with meetings today. Um, I should go back and watch the VOD. 
How could I have guessed MNR? Well, and he wasn't even talking. It was, it was uh, all the regular people on Psy and London Bridge Bricks and um, uh, I let's see. I'm, I'm gonna lose all their names. Tech, uh, Chris, which I think is Brickin' It, um, and. There was a guy there that I've never heard his name before, but apparently he's been a big deal for a while. And he was doing a lot of the talking. Um, and his mom was there, who's also a YouTuber. Um, somebody else was there. Um, i trying to think. Solo was there. I mean, there was nine people, so it was good. Uh, Sarah Starr was there. And um, the discussion was really good, but... Yeah, it does get pretty heated. Um, but everybody seemed to be doing like, you know, like real civil discussion, so that was good. I just, I like hearing um, that kind of stuff because I have applied. I'm nowhere near being able to be accepted, but I did apply to be, to get a, to be an RFLM or an RLFM. Uh, I didn't get it, obviously. Because I'm still here talking to you, schlubs. No, that's that's cool. Oh, that's, I love it. It's a little, it's a candle, but it's also not just a candle. It's like you can hold it. Like if you could pick it up as a um, mini fig and have the handle there. That's really nice. And a very blue little stool there. Oh yeah, and uh, Cool Factory. Yeah, Mike, formerly of Brick Vault, now Cool Factory. He was there. Um, and I've been watching him for a while. He was one of the first ones. Like I thought he was Brick Vault when I first started doing this. I really thought he was it. And then to come to find out, it was like this kind of big group of people doing stuff. Uh, thank you, Sai. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I appreciate it. Um, so to see like him, not his fall, but his transformation from this sort of recognized, you know, name to like, Hey, this isn't really what I signed up for. And, uh, I'm going to go do my own thing. It's kind of like, wait a minute. Don't you have like the dream? Aren't you living the dream right now? So that was my first kind of inkling that stuff happens in the Lego world. That's not all like great um, and it was you know it was sobering to see that um, and so every time there's a new discussion about the LAN or um, you know big YouTubers doing something or YouTube in general doing something or the culture ab abound with Twitch users or YouTube users or, you know, it's just, it's, it kind of makes me want to, um, not be involved. Like I'm really worried sometimes when I get on chats with people and I'm like, I, I kind of just want to sit here and be quiet and build. But at the same time, I want to, you know, be part of the community So it's, I feel weird, like, curating the people that I hang out with, which I'm not really trying to do. It's just kind of happens that way. I don't know what that is. Is that a a black bearskin rug? I mean, it's very black. It's not brown. I mean, it looks like the inside of a polar bear. Anywho. Started watching Mike post vault. Yeah, his Cool Factory stuff's really good. Um... And he's very chill. Like, he's very no-nonsense and chill about the whole thing. And he's very smart and knowledgeable about the whole genre of building and everything. And it's it's refreshing. And he seems like a cool guy. I also like his take on... Um, you do this because you like doing it, you know? And the idea of getting kind of stuck um, doing stuff for views is, you know, kind of, 
kind of the reason there's drama in the first place. I mean, because everybody wants, if they're doing this, they want to do it because they, they like building, first of all. But, you know, the more you do it, if you're doing it for a couple of years, you're like, well, I want more people to see it. Um, I want them views, man. And sometimes it's a little, it's not really what you should be doing. Because, you know, if I were on the land, I couldn't have adult beverages, probably. And yes, he's a great editor. He does make great videos. It is a bear. Yeah, I don't think I've watched... Um, I don't think I've watched Brick Vault since then. I mean, it, like, every couple months, I'll, like, dip into, like, their top ten mocks of the week kind of thing, but... I think by then, the thing is I've seen a lot of those. And usually beforehand, I wouldn't have seen those. Oh, I missed a whole thing. Shh, slow down, slow down. It's okay. All right, did I miss anything else? Got those, good. Is that a metal straw? Yeah, it goes with the, it's a copper straw, it comes with the glass. Keeps everything cold. Mmm. It's delicious. And the glass gets really cold. It's great. Oh, uh, I love me some ginger beer. And just like in general, I love the taste of ginger beer, so. And I know I miss these. We got how many of these? All right. Two and two. Two and two and one and two. Well, I mean, you could probably drink it just straight out of the cup, but it came. We got this as a wedding gift uh, set of four because um, we put it on a registry because we both like Moscow mules. So. Got some vodka, got some ginger beer. Mm, good stuff. So, Sai, I have to ask, do you have plans next week? Do you have plans next Wednesday? Before you before you toddle off to bed, I have to ask if you've got plans next Wednesday. Because I do. All right, we'll talk to you later. I'll ask you about that later, don't worry. Um, next week, I plan, I got tickets for uh, streaming um, Flogging Molly. They're doing a concert, so I'm streaming that. Um, and I got a t-shirt out of it. So I'm excited. Um, and I'm going to hopefully hook up. We got a projector and a screen I'm going to hook up in the backyard. Uh, go get some Guinness. See if some people want to come over. Get the fire pit going. Watch some flogging molly. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I'm doing. That's what I was going to see if you were doing anything next week. Because um, that's what I'm doing on Wednesday. I should take Thursday off, but I didn't plan that far ahead. Plus, we've got a uh, major rollout next week, so I can't really... Hey, boss, I'm probably going to be... Wicked drunk on Guinness next week, so uh, could I just take the day? Maybe like, <laughs> no. oh yeah, that's like asking. <laughs> I'm sure that's like asking. Um, I, 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 there's no equivalent really. Like nobody else outside of the U.S. celebrates weirdly stereotypical American holiday, right? Like it would be like asking me, hey. What are you doing for in, uh, Texas Independence Day tomorrow? It's like what? Yeah, you know that day, because we're gonna get some uh, we're gonna get some barbecue and maybe make some. We're gonna put on sombreros and it's gonna be a thing. We're gonna drink margaritas and cervezas, and I'd be like, that's not even. It's just a date. What are you talking? You know. So I can understand going. Hey, what do you? Hey, you guy. What are you doing for St. Patrick's Day? And you're gonna be like, oh God, it's a it's an effing Wednesday. Who cares? That's what I'm doing. I don't know, is it a big thing? 
Is it a big day? Is it like Thanksgiving over there for us? For you guys? Doing St. Patty's Day stuff. I'm almost 40% Irish. Well, not enough apparently. Scott. <laughs> no, it's cool. St. Patty's Day is one of those weird, like, I feel like it's a major cultural appropriation day. But because I can't go find a pub and get fish and chips and a Guinness and listen to some bagpipes, I'm just going to have to do it at my house. Oh, shoot. Missed that bet. You'll be streaming with Greg. Well, cool. I'll catch. I'll be able to catch that because you guys will be doing it at like 2 o'clock my time. So I should be able to, if our phone system upgrade isn't completely wiping us out, I might be able to tune in. All right, that's all. You can go to bed now. Nobody wants you here anymore. You, you've stayed your hour. Get out of here. All right, backpack and, really? It seems like a waste of a backpack. Plus I don't think it'll close all the way, it won't. And it's gonna be a waste of a couple good uh, pucks of some design. Can't really tell what that is. Compasses. It just says one, but I'm, I don't know. You get two compasses, there you go. Ooh, but I like how it goes on those feet. I'm back. What step are we on now? We are on bag nine, Kyle. Uh, everybody in the chat, welcome Skull, Skull Asylum Bricks, a um, northern Texas person, Dallas area, Richmond, something like that. Uh, you've said, and I've forgotten because I'm a terrible person. God, for the longest time, I thought Kodiak lived in um, Wisconsin. Um, he said the other day, because uh, we were watching Darth Designer, and he's like, yeah, you and Kodiak are only like an hour apart in time. And I'm like, what? He lives in Wisconsin. That's central time. And then later I'm like, oh, that's right. He doesn't live there. Lives in Mountain Time, where I'm from. Yeah, good night, Cy. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Good talking to you. Good seeing you. As always. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh my goodness, look at all them extras. I really hope those are extras and not... Yep, okay. Well, that's a good extra. For sure. That trans clear pip. Uh, one by one with the pin on it. Nice. And I don't have any of these plumes in blue, I don't think. So that's cool. But the howdies. Well, I thought you were from Wisconsin, so I don't know where howdies came from. Yeah, mi familia, eh, um, ma famille is from the mountain time zone too. Um... But both my parents are retired and I don't think it matters to them what time zone it is because I get calls in the middle of the day at like two o'clock and they're like, hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, uh, working. Like, oh, okay, well, I got a question for you. I'm like, okay. I'm gonna call you at four in the morning next time. Panda Brickers. So I think I'm gonna build this one next and I may build it off camera. Would anybody want to see this one built on camera? I don't really care. I just want this pilot out of here so I can put him with my um, microfighter and take a GD picture of it for Instagram. I'm dying to do that. And then I got this guy, which don't worry, I didn't pay full price. I got it for like 50 bucks. So, score. And then I've got Kylo Ren's shuttle on the way. And then Michaela's got a Sith TIE fighter for me, or the, not the Sith TIE fighter, but the, uh, yeah, the Sith TIE fighter, which means I'll have all the Knights of Ren. And I am super excited about those crappy figures. 
and I don't know why. I was able to skirt. Oh, good, you got Benny's spaceship. That's one of the few ship. I still have that one together. It's one of the few that I still have together from that movie. And I still have the big construction mech too. The one with the big cranes and the the, the swinging uh, like um, uh, cement mixer ball. Just because it's a big, I mean, it looks great just sitting there. But yeah, Benny's spaceship is super fun. I especially like the little things that detach off the sides, the little extra spaceships. That's so very classic space. Um, yeah, no paying full price. I there was like three or four sets. I didn't pay full price for the uh, Night Buzzard, and I didn't pay full price. I don't. I'm not going to pay full price for the Sith Tie Fighter. I'm gonna pay close, but. No, I can't find it anywhere for like 50 bucks because it's 400 and some pieces. I'm like, that's a $50 set. No, no, it's an $80 set. No, it's not. So, um, it's not okay. Michaela had it for 70 and I'm like, that that's equitable. That's fair because you already bought it and you're not a scalper. You're just, you know, she's like, I just, I had it and I don't really want it. I'm like, I'll take it. Because all I really do is Star Wars. Yeah, it super feels like classic space. It's a little more... So the thing about it is it's got all the touchstones of classic space. Like it's got the Klaxon um, air raid siren piece. That's like the three-way thruster, right? Um, it's got all the right colors and everything. It's a little too blue for my taste for classic space. It could have been more gray. But, and it's, it's, it's very greebly for a classic space. Like classic space, you gotta remember, had almost no greebles. It was very simple. Um, but this tickled all the right bones uh, when I built it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, if you like classic space stuff, there's a 80s and 90s classic 80s and 90s Lego Facebook group. That's pretty good. Um, it's a lot of space, but there's a lot of uh, pirates and castles and uh, early town stuff. Um, it's I, I don't have anything to contribute to it usually because these are a lot of like collector people posting, but it's also people building in that style. Um, so it's a lot of fun if you want to check that out. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I mean, it's 14 bags. I don't know what I was, why I was thinking it was going to take less time than that. Yeah, the a lot of the Star Wars stuff that came out recently, that Grievous Fighter, the Night Buzzard, the Tie Fighter. It's like eighty dollars, and you're like, it's 400, 500 pieces. It's not. And especially the Grievous set, it's like, hey, look, another Grievous figure and another Obi-Wan. Mm. I don't know how many Obi-Wans I have at this point. They are hard to connect with. Um, and they're hit and miss because a lot of times, like the... The A-Fall group's pretty good. Bantha's Bricks is really nice. I like Bantha's Bricks um, because it's the right mix of, it doesn't post, there's not like a million posts a day that you have to kind of like slog through. It has like, you know, I don't know, 10, 20 posts a day and um, they're all fairly good quality and the people are all very nice. Um, the A-Fall, there's an A-Fall one that's kind of, that's kind of hit and miss because it can be a little overwhelming with the number of posts per day, but also 
they flare up with like political talk and then everybody gets all bent out of shape because there's political talk and you're like just don't respond it'll fade away it'll go away just don't just don't bring it up you know not everybody here wants to do that and it'll die off on its own the more you give power to it the airborne clone is amazing is that in oh yeah I actually have a couple of these already, I thought. I must have got them from a different set. So those are the figures. I mean, the Grievous is... I will say the Grievous is one of the better Grievouses. But, you know, it's another weird-haired Obi-Wan. Um, and then, yeah, that... I think I've got... Let me go look real quick. Because I just parted out all my Star Wars. Yeah, I don't know how I already have this figure, but did he come in something else? It's a really good figure. I think that's the right head for it. I got a lot of these in a box from a person at work. Um, and it's got the, the hip things on it and stuff. But yeah, that's, that's the airborne guy. Bantha is good. Blacktron one is cool. People don't bring it up, it will not happen. I think it came in a battle pack. I think so, yeah. I think it came in like a weird Sith uh, something battle pack. Like him and like, like a Sith officer and something else. All right, this is gonna be nifty. I like this part. First of all, just solid green. Look at that. That's great. Great, great, great. So I got a box of these. Um, I got a box of Lego from this lady at work a, a couple years ago. And I haven't sorted through it yet. I've sorted through it enough to um, know that there were some really good sets in it. but And I got some pretty decent figures out of it considering for free too like she was just getting rid of it and I'm talking like a big server box like a Dell server box full um, and she said there's probably more but I haven't gone through it yet I'm like okay well anytime you want to get rid of more stuff you just let me know and I'll buy it from you you know you don't have to give it to me but I didn't say that too loud I kind of said that after she left I'm like hey, I'll buy it from you um but there's a ton of these figures in there that I'm like, I don't remember ever buying that, but I have it now. But there's also a lot of like these half figures. Um, I, you know, I've got like episode th episode two Padme from the arena fight, just like the torso with the rip thing, but not the legs and not the head. And I'm like, ugh. And that's an expensive figure. And there's a bunch of other stuff. There's like... Well, that's obviously Star Wars pants because it's a gun holster, but. So, I don't know what to do with all of it. I'm not really good with minifigures. Um, I like them for my own purposes, like when I'm designing stuff. But, um. Try to straighten these out a little bit. But I'm not like collecting them or getting um, the CMF stuff. Not digging through bags and boxes of figures and what not. It's not my, my not my thing. Y'all, I have tomorrow off, and I'm so excited. Ooh, we got some helicopters flying over. I'm excited about having tomorrow off. Don't be wrong, Lego's profitable. They announced earnings, and it was pretty... Yeah, they're... Like, everyone's like, oh, I don't know, man. I don't think Lego's gonna pull through this time, and we're all like, what? Really? Come on. 
Um, next quarter will be interesting to see what kind of um, how uh, how video does. Uh, maybe not second quarter, but third quarter probably. See what it does to earnings. Yeah, same, Brad. I, I just like building. And if it's got a good display quality, like you said, that's that's important. Um, I do like stuff like this, too, because of the kind of building the insides of it. And you get to see all the little bits along the way. Whereas, like, and this is, this is very true. Like, I, I like the cars because you get to see how a big shape is made, like the side quarter panel of a car, like how they got square bricks to make this, you know, and admittedly they have a lot of curved molding now, but but Star Wars stuff as of late has been kind of boring. Um, Pose X-Wing was okay. The micro fighter line's pretty good. But, you know, it's just, it's not as small and quirky. You know, there's not a lot of, like, when we would make spaceships as kids, we would put lots of little doodads in it. Like, here's this detachable thing, um, you know, to give it a little more play. And I feel like a lot of that's being lost. Um, which is why I like things that, uh, like space stuff that isn't Star Wars. because I think it tries to capture that a little bit. Yeah, and it is like learning. It's a little bit of like, oh, I'd never thought about doing it that way. Gives you some uh, tips and stuff. I wish I could remember every new tip that I've learned so that I could apply them because I feel like every time I go design stuff, I fall back on what I know all right, and I don't exactly know where this goes in here in relation, but we're gonna say it goes right there. So there's a bed in your room next to the window, because that's what you do. You put your bed next to the window. And yeah, those big classic $45 for 1,500 pieces, those are, Great. I have two of them unopened. They're just sitting over there, waiting to be sorted. They're just raw material. went out in the house oh that's unfortunate I don't know if you can see that uh, yeah it's, can you see the uh, come on focus focus no nope, it's not going to so I can tell that there's <laughs> not that I care but it's always funny to see like a really nice shiny um, brick and then there's this big old thumbprint right in the middle of it you're like oh when i started i got a box of bricks for my cousins mm. yeah lego masters is going to be one of those things because it's on a major network it is going to be integral to it it will be able to do like in one season of shows that a year's worth of conventions in all major cities could do um, and all they have to do is film one show with you know 12 people or whatever all they have to do is do a major you know millions of dollars of show but that's I mean that's what conventions are really kind of for 
they are for A falls and they are for T falls and they are for fans and lugs to get together and um, feel like you're not an outcast by liking Lego. They're like, yeah, no, there's a, there's there are dozens of us, um, but you all, you have to go to a specific city. Uh, it costs to get in. You know, it can be a bit overwhelming to see kind of all at once. That's understandable. But yeah, Lego Masters is like, hey, sit there on the couch and look at all these nerds. We're all just the same. Um, if you haven't, I'd highly suggest going to a convention. Um, you end up meeting a lot of really kind of groovy people. And a lot of weirdos. I'm not going to lie. It's full of weirdos. But for the most part, like, I would say 80%, 90% are good, good people. Because they just want to do this. That's all they want to do. Uh, is that going to go above it? Miss a stick. Oh, sure did. Oh yeah, okay. Totally missed that. I looked right at it too, and I was like, nope, that's already done. Already did that bit. Yeah, it did bring a lot of adults out of the dark ages, that's for sure. And yes, there are weirdos. But sometimes the weirdos are the cool ones, you know, the weirdos are the the niche ones that you that you look for. I am just really loving the way the uh, framing on this looks. You know, it's just so pleasant. I mean, that's just, it's so nice. Just brown and white, simple, you know, snot bricks and tiles. Nothing, uh, nothing too radical. Brick World Chicago, is that a good one? I've only been to the ones here in Texas. Um, or to the one here in Texas. It'd be nice to be able to go to like Emerald City or Chicago or New York. Um, I'd like to go to the Toy Fair in New York. I think that'd be fun. But that's gonna be a bit, you know, it's one thing if it's Lego because obviously, um, but I'm also thinking, you know, how I talk Beth into going to something like that. And um, it's one thing to say, hey, that's a Lego convention. And I've already told her there's going to be a Lego convention in Houston. And she's like, yeah, we could we could take a weekend and go do that. I'm like, sweet. Um, but then to go, hey, there's a toy fair in New York. <laughs> it's like, eh. I mean, it's New York. She, you know, she's got family and stuff out there. But you want to go spend a weekend at a toy fair? No. Oh, a lot of this music reminds me that I have to catch up on Attack on Titan. I think there's a new episode out. Yeah, that's the that's the cool part of going to the conventions is you get to see the really big stuff that people are putting out. It's 
stuff you would never have thought to do. Well then just don't do that. What do I care? All right, you know what? You can just sit there. Uh-oh. Oh, did I forget? Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure what Brick Rodeo is going to be this year, how they're going to handle that, because I think they're anticipating that 70 or 80 percent, I think, of people will be vaccinated by June. That's a maybe. And Brick Rodeo is in July. Uh, I think the concern is that people won't really know and they won't and that unsurety I don't think unsurety is a word the unsure nature of the whole thing will not translate to people buying a hotel room there and that's where a lot of the money gets spent and a lot of money gets recouped is the blocks of hotel rooms that are reserved so they try to get their money back that way um, but I don't think a lot of people will still be wanting to travel if they're just unsure if it'll be safe so that'll be a decision that they make between now and then last year we did it we did it virtually and it was okay um, it obviously wasn't the spectacle, you know, the big building things that people look forward to when they go to that. Um, oh, there's a whole thing here. Well, what the what? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go to a con. I... I kind of want to, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to um, be unsafe. That seems really... Okay, there's got to be a reason for that. So instead of just b building this little bit, they've got it hooked, right? They've got a, a, a plate with the handle right there, then a brick with the clip just so it can sit on jumper plate and they must have been looking at it like a house like this and thought that's kind of a nifty way to build it let's see if we can replicate that because otherwise hey Mimi this is the uh, medieval blacksmith uh, we're working on the third floor right now which is like the roof, but where the dude and person sleep, I guess. There's two people so far and there's one bed, so I'm guessing they know each other. These two people. And they've got a dog. It's a really sweet dog. Good doggo. It's a good boy. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are you, what do we got, a week? A week before um, 100 Acre Wood. You ready for this? All right, so that's weird. Not really sure about that. Ugh. 
the glare. Yeah, that's got to be like they liked the way it looked like hinged off that or something. I don't know what that is. Any architects in the house want to take a stab at why we're doing that? Okay. Uh while the sleepiest music in the world plays, I am going to go um, freshen up my beverage, so I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. So extra pieces from that bag. Tiles, a little brown cupcake there. We're just developing this giant pile of extra pieces over here. Mm. Mm. Sorry about your ears. Not sorry. Don't give a oh about it. Crinkly. Mm. So crinkly. All right, bag 11. Oh. I like steps that are just like, do this 100 times. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty kit. Who? Hey, Meredith, what's up? Thank you. Mm. Yeah, I think this is max length. I think it's getting to the point where I can see it. I don't want it to get in my way that way, so. All right, Brad, take it easy, man. Appreciate you being here. Uh, see you Sunday. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for being here. Get some sleep then, man. I am taking tomorrow off, so I do not have to go to bed early. I will, because I'm old. I'll go sit in bed and read my weird science fiction book and just drift off to sleep. Full of vodka and happy thoughts of Lego. Um... I know those are rolly bits, so let's make sure there it is, of course. Are you taking a whole week off just for mental health reasons? Oh, you went up here, kitty kid? Come here. Come here. Oh, kitty cat. Say hi, kitty cat. Kitty cat. Big fat kitty cat. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the big fat fizz gig. He's a hobo. He cleans himself too aggressively. And so he's got like patchy uh, fur all over. I don't know if you can tell on his leg there. He overdoes it. He overbarbs. Isn't that right, fat kitty? Nah. All right, go away. So the cat and the dog have a system where they break into the Lego room. And by break in, I mean they walk in that's not locked or anything. And the cat does this with stuff. And then the dog picks it up in her little chompers and carries it into the bedroom. And then I step on it in the middle of the night. And I look down and I'm like, ah, oh, broken dog toy again. She's, she's chewing up these. And then I look, I'm like, hey, that's a two by two round brick, man. So I know that they've got to be in cahoots. I think the cat is just, has it out for me. Like, I'm tired of you spending all this time with these plastic bits. Neat. That's neat. Sometimes Lego does stuff like puts the, um, the bottom part in between all the studs. And uh, it just, it floors me. I'm like, that's not something they do. So has anyone ordered shirts from 80s Tees? It's a website, 80s Tees, where they do t-shirts from the 80s. Um, I see their ads on Facebook all the effing time. And I don't mind it because I like looking at it, you know, but I've never clicked on it. So the other day I just went to the site instead of clicking on it. And I was like, you know what? I do want a Silver Hawks t-shirt or another Voltron t-shirt or half a dozen store, uh, Transformers shirts or whatever. They're like $40. I'm like, okay, I get it, but I could get, I could get um, like, not handcrafted, but like the designer who made the shirt is running the website for like $10 or $20. Not like I'm trying to like get one over on people, but I'm like, surely a big, because I, I ostensibly is a big company doing this. Um, I gotta do that twice. Okay, let's see if we can do this twice. Shirt ran small, but it was years ago. That's the other concern is like, well, I gotta get fat boy I don't want to get it and then go, Ugh, this is for a skinny person. This isn't, it doesn't fit me. But my God, they have all this stuff. I've never, they, you know, get a Centurion shirt or a mask shirt. I would love it. Or yeah, or you know what? I could design my own. I could just find a logo, slap it on a shirt, put it up on Redbubble, charge myself m minimum to get it printed. Um, I'm just lazy. Plus, you know, the dude is out there or the person, the lady, whoever, is out there making a business. I'd like to support it. It just it was a little shocking that it was $40 for a t-shirt. <laughs> like Macklemore, that's $50 for a t-shirt. You should send me stuff from Comic-Con anyway. Are they doing Comic-Con this year? Have they opened up like ticket sales and stuff? You should be looking for Lego stuff. I've tasked you. I've, I've been tasking Tucker for years. But a lot of the stuff lately, you gotta stand in line for it. Oh man, this song had me until right now. Oh, this is the opening bit.
They said they're doing Houston Comic Palooza in May, but then they just changed it to July. Haven't been to San Diego. Oh, you haven't gone. Okay. I forgot if you were part of the group or not that usually goes. That's like Kelly and um, Aaron and Tucker and those people. I should ask them. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting like Lego stuff from uh, something at an Austin con, but they never have anything. But Meredith, was that you and Monica at San Diego where you got to take pictures with a drunk um, Nathan Fillion and Matt, Matt Smith? That was San Diego, wasn't it? Camping outside uh, Hall H. Yeah, they never have exclusives in Austin either. Their exclusives are, hey, we've got merchandise. It's like, ugh. Yeah, and? Where's my set from Lego that'll be $200 on eBay? Love my sleep mask. I remember that. I remember the photos you showed us. He looked drunk. <laughs> he looked like he was like, hey, <laughs> we just kind of rolled up here. What's going on, you guys? Is there a party? It's good if there were a party going on. All right. My people sitting outside a, a building, camping. I still think Beth outside of that dude's uh, table at Austin Comic Con the last time we went. Was it Austin? Or was it uh, South By? I think it was Austin. Was hilarious. For those who haven't heard this story, um, there's this dude. Doctor Who panel, yeah. Uh, Wizard World, yeah. So it was a Comic Con. And. Um, um, Mare's cousin was in town or a uh, friend or whatever. I forget. I think, I think it's your cousin or your aunt or something like that. And uh, she's like, we're going. We can all go. I'm like, sweet. Thomas E. Nichols. Yeah. And Thomas E. Nichols, for those who don't know, was in Angels in the Outfield or um, Rookie of the Year. He was in a baseball movie. He was a kid in a baseball movie. I think it was Rookie of the Year. And um, other stuff, right? Not just that, but he was it was a child actor in this one thing, and then he went on to do other things. Um, and Beth had a huge crush on this guy when she was a kid, right? So she saw this movie as a kid, saw him as a kid, had a crush on him. Um, an American Pie, yeah. So we found out that he was going to be... And, you know, there's always these people at... I say these people like they're like rejects or something like that. There's always um, actors and stuff at Comic Cons. And generally, it's really hard to get to like the bigger names. You have to buy it ahead of time. It's between, it used to be like 50 bucks, but now it's like 100 to $200 just to get in line to go say hi and get a picture, right? And, but then there's like this, there's always the alley full of like, not people that you have to pay $200 to get a picture with. Um, so Thomas Ian Nichols was in this big alley of people and Beth was like, oh, we should go by his table. So we go by his table and there's there's stuff on his table too, right? There's um, CDs and what's up, Scott? Thanks for coming back. So there's CDs and there's whiskey, right? So apparently he's developed or he's working with somebody to develop this line of whiskey and it was really good. It was like peanut butter whiskey. It was very tasty. But um, um, so we're standing outside. We're standing in front of his table, and there's like the big curtain on the frames lining all the tables, right? 
And so we're sitting there and we're looking at the CDs and we're looking at the videos and we're looking at the pictures and stuff like that, all the stuff that you can buy um, at his table. And I, w I, was, I was so mad because I was on my phone because I didn't care about this at all. I'm just like, ugh, I don't, I don't know who this guy is. You guys have fun, whatever. So, um, they're standing there looking at all this stuff and Beth just kind of says, matter of factly, I had such a crush on this guy, right? And he basically comes out, oh, it's whiskey. He basically comes out of the back of the curtain and he's like, hello, like that. And she's just like, <gasps> you know, like the blood drains out of her face. And um, was kind of like, oh, we need to go now. And she's like, no, no, let's, you know, Meredith's like, no, no, let's stay, let's stay. Meredith's such an enabler. No, 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 let's stay, let's stay, let's just talk, you know. She's like, no, no, no. I missed the whole thing. I was so mad at myself. Um, how does that... Oh, I see. Okay. Well, this is interesting. The step is to put it there. Just put it there. Just put it there. Just put it there. We'll pin it in later, but just just do that. I'm like, what does it clip into? Nothing. Okay. So yeah, that's why these things are like that. That's why there's these hook things on the side. It was so funny. And yeah, so they sat there and talked for like a good, you know, 10, 15 minutes. No pressure or anything. Um, we, Meredith did the pro move of like, we want to get a picture or we want to get a something, but we don't have any cash. So we're going to go get some cash and we'll be back. And by then we looked around and there was a line behind us. So we were just sitting there jawing with the guy and we're like, oh, we're sorry to take up, you know, your, your adoring fans are here. And uh, Meredith's like, yeah, yeah, we're going to go get some cash and we'll be back. And then we got about 10 feet away. She's like, yeah, we're not coming back. Um, but the whiskey was amazing. It was so good. Like I wanted to go back and just buy some of that. But he said he couldn't sell it because it's you need a license to sell it. But they had it at the bar, um, and we weren't going to stay long enough to, you know, go hang out at a bar at a convention center. So we're just like, meh, whatever. Um, but that was fun. Like, Beth lost her, her mind. It was pretty cool. Which never happens. So that was lots of fun. Yeah. And then you saw him before DJing. Yeah, that's right. Gave it to us in a paper cup. In a paper cup. Hey, ladies, you looking for some whiskey? Oh, I didn't have this plugged in. Hang on. Well, that sucks. Yeah, down to 6%. That was crazy. Yeah, I think had we gone, there was some reason why we didn't buy a pick. We had to get cash, but it was some weird thing about, like we weren't going to be able to come back or we had to stand in line or something, but I don't think Beth would have not got a picture from him. It was fun. That was a good time. I just have a problem going to cons because I will buy all the shirts. Not as many toys as I would have in years past, but definitely the shirts. And you cannot send me down Artist Alley because I'm just like, oh, that looks so great. Can I just buy that? Can I buy that $20 print? Can I buy that $20 print $400 later? Oh yeah, that was the, that's why that's why we were there. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. I still follow that guy on Twitter. He's a he's a a decent chap. <laughs> Remember things. Remember going and doing things.
Yeah, I hope stuff like conventions and as much as I don't like going to music festivals, I think it's important for the city and the, um, the industry to kind of get back some of that. Because, man, that's just, everybody's taking such a hit. It's been a year, yo. Yeah, summer, like any festival I go to, I'm like, I'm not, it's not a really big deal, but I'm always like, can I have that? I'll buy that from you. That painting. Which, as an artist, I'm like, half the time I'm like, that looks really cool. And the other half is like, I could do that. Why don't I just do that? Like, there's a place here. Um, all right, man, take care. Thanks for coming by. Uh, say bye, Kodiak. Bye, Kodiak. Um, every time we go to Blue Genie, there's always really good stuff. Like, that's where we go for Christmas. That's just it. And we couldn't go this year, and it was kind of a bummer. Um, but every time we go, there's always really good stuff. And then there's always stuff that I'm like, well, I'm just going to go home and do that. Not that what they do is bad. It's just, I get that. I'm not going to, you know, if I, I could make this for the amount of money I'd spend on it here. And it would doubly be cool because it's coming from me as a homemade thing rather than somebody else. And both, um, one of the kids' moms uh, and I have toyed around with actually doing a booth. But it's like crazy to get start up and they take a pretty hefty commission. Not like, you know, we're in it for the money or anything, but I think it'd be fun. Yeah, um, you know who's got a poster problem is Aaron. Like, I don't know where he puts, I don't think he puts his stuff anywhere. I think it's just sitting in bags and flat boards waiting to be framed. Like every time I talk to him, he's, he's to posters like I am to Lego. Like every time we talk, he's like, I got this new poster. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> where do you put all this stuff? Oh, this is satisfying doing the the roofing the roof the roof the roof is made of lego we don't need no bricks nice scott that's one thing I've always wanted to do, and I started doing it a little bit. Oh, wait, that's not. I want to, like, support more local artists like that. Um, it's just so easy to fill up your house with, like, and I, I, I don't mean to say garbage art, like, the stuff you get elsewhere is bad, but... Um, you know, if you go to a festival and you want to get a piece of art, you should. Or if you know of a local artist and they're doing stuff for a commission, or if you know them online, like I know a lot of comic book guys who do art and cartoon artists who do commissions online. And it's like, it's weird because I feel like I'm friends with them because for a while we would be kind of contemporaries. We would all be doing that. Um, so I feel weird paying them for art even though we're both artists but at the same time i'm like i really like their art and they're good at it and they should be rewarded with remunerations yeah the roof is a lot of i like how it glints a little bit off those beveled ed edges that's what we in the biz call sexy I don't think anyone's ever called Lego sexy. Oh wait, I have. There's been some sexy build techniques, that's for sure. Every once in a while I'll run into one, I'm like, oh my god, that's just, oh, whoever came up with that. Give that person an award. 
How's the set look so far? Cheers, P.S. Any castle vibes? Uh, yeah, so I'll take a break real quick. Here's the, this is gonna be the, the roof so far. Here's, uh, and here's the third floor, right, so far. Got some stuff going on. And here's the bottom two floors. It's not really castle vibe, it's Ren Fair vibe, right? It's got that sort of, not Tudor, but very medieval construct. I mean, look like the brick um, on the corner there. That's really slick. The framing around the windows is really nice. There's lots of little bits that are just, that tree is kind of sick. It's just really cool. There's lots of really fun bits. Um, that, this is something I really like about this build a lot, is it's not just, I mean, modulars in general are pretty cool in that they build little scenes as you go. It's not stuff you're gonna see on display, but you know when you built it, you're like, there's this really cool little thing tucked in there and that's really neat. Uh, it makes it worth it. A good example is the, um, the Ninjago City, uh, the Ninjago City and then the gardens. Um, and also the Apocalypse Berg are all like that, where it builds little stories as you go, but you may not ever see them again after you build it. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Flip that over. Got two times this. Oh. Kind of looks a smidge bigger than minifig scale, but though no. Um, so I'll put a minifig on here, on so you can see. So here's a minifig in the top room where the bed is, and there's a like a writing desk, right up in there in the bed. So that's what you're looking at there. Um, here's another figure here. Running out of room. So here's the mini fig. It's a little bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but it's definitely, those stairs are pretty big. The stairs that she's on are pretty big, but there's your kind of door looking in for the wood those logs in there, that's pretty cool. So that's about that size. And if you look inside there, there's some chairs and a table. These stairs are mini fig size stairs. So it's it's pretty, you know, it's pretty good. Door right there. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, modular, it's modular ish right yeah the tree is really great all right that oh my god throwing it back this music this music is a mood This music is 1986. Yeah, man, no problem. It's really nice to get this many of these um, tiles. I'm hoping these show up in uh, Bricklink a lot. Because they make good spaceships. And if you can get a dark bluish spaceship. It's really cool. Oh, kind of a hounds, houndsooth uh, pattern, I'm guessing. Oh, the focus is really bad on that dark. Wow, they're like, yeah, just just do all of these. Okay. The 
big step right here. Just put all these pieces on this one step. I remember when these tiles first hit, it blew my mind. I'm like, I didn't know I needed these tiles. And Lego said, yeah, pretty cool, right? I'm like, yes, make more of them. They're like, no. You get one gray one every 17 sets. Oh, well, okay. I guess it's okay. Yeah, they do make good throne be uh, uh, backings. They're just great for like... Uh, do I have a microfiber phone on? Yeah. Good spaceship pieces. Good uh, like paneling and stuff. Plus, I bet they would be great like airlock doors. Like if you staggered them, you know, something like that, and then it's super cool. Super cool. All right, thanks for coming by, Mayor. Good seeing you. Go for another 20 minutes or so, see if we can get this bag done. 20 minutes or this bag, whichever gets finished first, it's gonna be the 20 minutes. I can guarantee you. Oh, the glare, oh, the glare, oh. in there but not too bad it's like the roof was built out of dragon scales My daughter was watching my stream earlier tonight. That makes me happy. Even if it's for like five minutes. <laughs> so, weekend plans. I don't know who's left on the... Who's left out there, but let me know if you got weekend plans. I have some, but I'm not allowed to tell until tomorrow. It may be a secret surprise what's happening. So we'll just have to see. make fun of me for building I think my kids are kind of okay with me building and streaming and stuff uh, my son went F went, went crazy I did a, sh a YouTube short and he's like you should put this on TikTok I'm like Ugh. I've like I downloaded TikTok when it first came out and then I never used it like I watched some videos but then I never used it for anything because I'm like I'm not gonna make any move any videos I was like, no, you should put this on there. I'm like, oh, all right. And it apparently did really well, and he freaked out. He's like, Dad's TikTok famous. I'm like, I put one video out, and it got some play. 
only because I think there's there may be a um, a desire for more Lego content on TikTok. So I made uh, yeah one video and. Uh, I don't know how, I, it's like that sophomore video, man. You gotta make sure that it hits. I just don't know what to do, if I'm gonna do anything. Like I never got into the um, the shorts on YouTube either. I just don't, I don't know what I'd do that would be a minute. You know, I was thinking maybe like real quick time lapses, putting a, um, um, microfighter together um, what most people seem to be doing in the Lego world anyway is like real quick kind of like hey look at this it's terrible or look what Lego's gonna put out next year isn't this great stuff like that for like a minute just don't know I mean there's already a ton of people doing that I wouldn't bring anything new to the table that's the thing um, as much as I like hearing the sound of my own voice I know my limitations and they are not making funny videos <laughs> well yeah the one video I did was three uh, Millennium Falcons and then I was like hey look you made another Millennium Falcon but then look at all these other and I just put out all my microfires I'm like look what else you could have done Lego but yeah let's make let's make another Millennium Falcon sure all right that's probably gonna go on the roof here pretty soon Brick Studios does funny TikToks. I don't know that I know Brick Studios. I may know Brick Studios. Oh, what's going on here? This just sits in there. Wow, okay, so, huh. So here's your, your rounded bits, right? With, they're like a little, right, ledge. And there's these brackets in here. And this just sits in there. Just, just leans in there, just rests. Doesn't attach to anything. That is crazy pants. I am um, a little bit interested in that. I mean, it's not a, it doesn't need to be swooshable. I get it. It's not like I'm gonna pick this up and fly it around the room. I just think it's funny. Especially if that was a Lego designer that did that and that wasn't part of the original design was to do just a roof that rests in there like that. Um, I think that's really kind of ballsy. I like it. It's all kinds of zombie watching kid, zombie, kids zombie watching trends, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm beyond trend stage. I think I'm just doing this because I like doing it. Um, I try every once in a while to kind of look up like when is a good time to post, when is a good time to do certain stuff. But outside of that, I'm like, I'm good. I'm just gonna do the thing that I know how to do and that I like doing and we'll just leave it at that. I mean, my son, and I still watch TikTok videos now, so now that I've got the app, 
and my son sends me a lot. My daughter sends me a couple every once in a while, and they're fun, but it's not something that I'd put much thought into. Is this gonna be another bay window? I hope so. I'm not even building on screen. So I'm probably gonna finish this this weekend. I don't think I'll stream it again. Um, so y'all won't get the satisfaction of seeing it completed. You'll have to go buy it yourself. But let me know if you wanna see another build on Sunday or some just chill out studio design work. We'll do more of the um, We'll either do a, another micro fighter or yikes, or the the vulture droid again. Kind of not sure where this goes. That was weird that the, there was another thing down there. Micro be good. All right. Yeah, the CI, the UCS thing is kind of like my, my own. I'm not as fast as Darth Designer, and I'm going to be going back and forth with it a lot. So, probably good to get something that I can get done in an hour or an hour and a half. If you have a suggestion about what you'd like to see, be it a Star Wars or another vehicle, um, I'm open to suggestions. Oh, interesting. It's a good use of that. I haven't seen one kind of flipped upside down like that before. Doing a micro ghost video this weekend. Oh, just for the the, uh, the actual set. That was a good one. That's a good one of the micros. I like that one. All right. Yes, bay window. Oh, just pretty. Provided it goes in there, right? Here we go. Well, that's just nice. There you go. So I'm probably not gonna get another bag done tonight. It's almost 10, I think I'm gonna call it. But I think at some point this will sit up here like this. I know it's hard to see from that angle. So I'm gonna raise the camera up a little bit. Get a little better view. So that's what we got so far. I don't know if it goes this way or the other way, but I think, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, so that's what we got so far. It's pretty nice. You know, it's it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. A lot taller, a lot more stuff. So, um, cool. Well, if you ever want a custom one, let me know and I will I can part it out or send it to you or something. Uh, keep me posted. Um, thanks everybody for coming by and uh, I will see you guys probably on Sunday. If anything changes, I'll let you know. You guys have a good night and uh, yeah, the tiles are great. Uh, take care. Have a good one. Bye.